Hello again, my name is Tomasz and welcome back to our channel. Like we promised last time, today we will show you a few simple exercises to improve your posture. Enjoy! Before we dive into the exercises, if you haven't seen the video about the posture, please see it first. It's crucial to first understand the posture and then try to do something about it. The first exercise we will show you you can do literally anywhere, it requires no space and it doesn't require any equipment. So now what we will do is we'll try to hold our head and bring it up as, up as possible like we showed you on the last video. And now what we want to do is we want to move from leg to leg, lifting one leg up and then changing the weight without any changes in your posture. So I will demonstrate it first forwards then I will do it sideways. I'm trying to be as tall as possible and I'm trying to separate my leg movement from my change in posture. Of course, we will have slight movement of our weight to the sides because of the change of weight, but we want to keep it to the minimum. I could easily do that one, right? And you can clearly see that's much more movement. Now, the second thing you have to be careful in that exercise is the change of your hips. Of course, we've done the whole episode about the hips stability exercises. So please check it if you're interested in that to improve your hip stability. Now I will show it sideways and please notice that my posture shouldn't be changing forward or backward. I shouldn't be dropping my chest or doing anything during the lift of the leg. So I will start with my right foot going upwards. So I get it up and place it up and place it up and place it up and place it and literally everything from the hip up should stay as still as relaxed as possible i'll do a few more just to show it better and last one and that's it now this exercise really consists of two fundamental elements one is just the being able to change your weight without change of your hips level and the second element is to be able to leave the leg without change in your hips level. Now the lifting the leg again we showed in the hip exercises video so please check that out and the weight change just has to be done to shift the whole weight over one foot or the other without sitting on your hips. Okay so just be careful to have again everything upright we're just changing weight we do not require using the hips or bending the sides or whichever action we want to use. So if you have problem with the original exercise, start with separating them. First, just hold your head up and change your weight slowly. Then try to lift your one leg up without the change of weight. If that's successful, then move on to the full exercise. To feel comfortable during your full dance you should try to do it at least for one minute if you will dance on the floor for one minute that should give you a realistic feedback about how strong your hips are and how well you can maintain your posture in those very simple movements for the second exercise we will use an elastic band or stretch band or exercise band you can find it under many names now this is a silver one and i think it's strong I know that each company have different color gradation with the strength, so not necessarily silver is always a strong one, but please try to use the light one in the beginning and then move on with time to stronger ones. In this exercise, it's all about doing it correctly. It's not about the strength yet. It's more important to do it as it's supposed to be rather than pick the strongest rubber, use completely different muscles, but be happy that we done them more. So now what we want to do is we want to attach one end of the rubber to a doorknob, to a wall, to pretty much furniture, anything you want. Just make sure it's sturdy enough uh, so when you pull it doesn't go towards you, which we probably just did a second ago when we tested the rubber. Uh, so now I will be sideways to show it better. I will hold rubber with one hand. I will try to pull the rubber behind my body but without any turn in my chest area, in any change in my shoulder area, it's literally the whole arm that is hinged in a fixed point that is my shoulder and moving that, that arm backwards. 
please make sure that you fix your shoulder in the correct place before you even move your arm. So your shoulder from being in front of your body should be in the neutral position, which means your chest should be open. And now I will do it five times and I will try to keep my shoulder in the correct place. I will try to keep my body in the same place and do it three more times, just moving my arm back and forth. Now we should really try to pull it slowly and then move it forward very slowly as well. We shouldn't try to just to release it on the way back because that doesn't work the muscles in the correct way. So just make sure again that you do it very slowly, very precisely. You can even put the hand on your shoulder and feel that it doesn't change places. It is just your arm that moves, not your shoulder. You should feel that your shoulder blade muscles here are working really hard to stabilize your shoulder blade and shoulder so it's only the arm moving, not everything else. You should also feel your stomach muscle engaging to stabilize the whole hips area so your body, for example, doesn't rotate when you do that exercise. Of course, that exercise should be done both hands, I would say, in sets of three and do it as much as you will feel your muscle working. So, for example, for me, it might take 30 times to do it. For you, it might take 10. Now, for the last exercise, we'll also use the rubber, but now in a completely different place. So now, in that exercise, I will hold the rubber in two hands. I'll put them behind my body. Now, I will put them in front of my elbows, turn the palms up and stretch. Now, now you should feel that, first of all, it takes a little effort to stretch the rubber, and that should be in your back, and also that the rubber helps you in presenting your chest forward. Of course, there is a limit in which I will just start arching the back and that's when my hips stop being parallel to the floor. So as long as your hips are parallel to the floor, you can literally present the chest as much as you want and it should be fine. Now from here, what I will try to do is I will try to maintain the same alignment of my posture and spine and just rotate my chest left and right. Now your hips should be as still and stable as possible, but of course they can move a little depending on your mobility in your joints. Now at no point I want to move my chest against the rubber or I want to turn my body, I'm not sure if you see that, turn my body without turning the rubber, right? So I'm turning the whole chest and back and arms together and try to do it as many times as possible before your arms actually hurt and your back hurts. Now remember, in any of those exercises, we welcome muscular pain, but we should not be happy with the joint pain. So if you have a sharp pain inside your joints, you should not do those exercises. You should maybe consult a physiotherapist and see if everything is okay. Just because I can do that exercises, doesn't mean that you are perfectly capable to do them as well. And I'm not saying whether you can, but whether you should be doing them. Because not all the exercises are for everybody. Those exercises should be safe for vast majority of people, but everybody's slightly different, so I'm just trying to say that out loud. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. We would love to know your thoughts. If you have any comments, please put them in the section below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.